Today is the first day of spring, so happy spring. And um, so I just finished writing a couple of letters to a couple of my cousins. And um, I also wanted to do a little craft thing. I don't do that a lot, actually, because I don't take the time to do fun things like that. <laughs> so I have this bag, which I got at the store where I bought uh, little gifts last weekend. And I wanted to paint something cute because I'm going to use it to um, give the gifts to my friend whose birthday was earlier this month, but I'm meeting her for coffee on Sunday, if that makes sense. And why not upcycle a bag rather than buy a new gift bag, which is going to be probably thrown away anyways. <laughs> so, and I thought it would be, you know, creative and fun, something crafty. I don't paint very much anymore. Not that I ever did paint a lot, but I did more last year for sure. Yeah, so I thought I'd do that uh, just to shake things up a little bit. like weeds <laughs> I have to cut it again this week's going by really quickly and I feel like time right now is speeding up more and more and more it's kind of crazy I just realized I completely forgot to write my newsletter on Tuesday I usually write it on Tuesday afternoon after work and then I send it I schedule it for Wednesday morning so I mean, it's already Friday night, so I think I'm just gonna skip this week. So sorry about that if you're on my newsletter uh, list. Uh, I'm actually thinking of maybe scale down my newsletter to either once, once a month or bi-weekly, uh, because the truth is I don't always have something really that interesting to share every week. Uh, my journey, you know, there's a lot of ebb and flows. Uh, I've been reflecting on that a lot lately, but I don't really know how to put it into words yet, so I'll keep that for a different video. So far this week, um, or the last couple of days, I should say, I've been spending some time in my sketchbook, uh, drawing in pen some uh, rocks, and then I started another drawing of a plant in water uh, in pen. And um, yeah, just kind of spending a lot of time in my thoughts, I guess. Uh, as an introvert, I do spend a lot of time reflecting on what's happening in my life. And I also needed to really focus on relaxing because 
my nervous system has been on override for, gosh, probably since the pandemic, so I would say four years for sure. So this week I thought I could um, do a little check-in and compare my drawing skills and see how they have evolved in the last three to four months. So I drew this raven, I think at the end of November last year. So it's gonna be about four months. And I figured I would redraw the exact same raven in graphite and see how much my graphite skills have evolved in four months. I think it'll be a fun thing to do and see how it goes. And uh, hopefully I can see a lot of improvement. Uh, we shall see.
So yesterday, after I came home from having coffee with a friend, I pretty much ended up uh, spending the rest of the day drawing this raven. So I feel like uh, this new version is improved from the previous one from three months ago. As you can see, there are some differences. Now the difference, if you want to compare apples to apples, uh, there's a little bit of a difference in material though, because three months ago I used a pretty thin paper, I want to say it was a Strathmore drawing paper made for pencils and charcoal. And this time I used Arches watercolor hot press paper, which is much thicker. So that's really the only difference because I used the same pencils uh, for both drawings. I think for the new drawing I was able to add more depth and also the shape of the bird is a little better. I'm not like the proportions of the wings of the feathers on my new version as well as the old version are not completely exactly accurate but I feel like this new bird still has better proportions. My old bird have kind of a flat back. And also I feel like I was able to add more depth and contrast on my new version. So I feel like I have made some progress in three months. Um, so it's, in it's interesting to think back about when I drew this first raven in November, I was so happy about it. And I think it was still, you know, good for beginner graphite uh, drawing. It's really nice to see that in three months I have made some progress. Um, the progress I've made were due to practice. Uh, I've drawn a bunch of things in graphite as you've seen. I also took a couple classes on domestica.com and I watched a few videos on YouTube. For instance, on like how to use blending stumps and also how to some techniques to use erasers uh, to produce highlights and things like that so kind of details that really add more depth and um, yeah in three months i've learned how to layer the graphite and how to blend the graphite and also like i said how to add highlights and how to use different types of erasers. I've used a kneaded eraser. I've used a, a pencil eraser, which is kind of a new tool for me. And then also a Tombow Mono Zero eraser, which is kind of my favorite. It's kind of a very fine point eraser. And um, yeah, so this is kind of my progress so far. I feel like as a self-taught artist, it's important to see where you're at because you don't have like a teacher or someone telling you you know uh, about your progress so, so i think to have an objective way to compare your work and see how well you're doing is to draw the same thing a few months apart so i'll probably draw another raven three months from now and we'll see how my progress keep on uh, going obviously this is um there is room for improvement in here um, I haven't nailed down the texture of the feathers and yeah I can see like how it could still be a lot better. It also depends obviously if the goal is to have a very highly realistic drawing or just a representation of the bird um, but it will be kind of cool to be able to draw in a hyper realistic way so there's definitely room for improvement on that. Um, yeah, I think it was a really good experience. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video where I compare my progress uh, in my art practice and my skills. Also, let me know if you'd like me to share more tips on what I've learned along the way. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already. Share the video with your friends and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.